What's going on, guys? Lockout Men in the building. Welcoming you back to a new episode of Lockout Men Podcast. In this episode, we feature a young lady that's been in the trucking game for a little bit. For a little bit. Not only that she been in the game, but she been a beast at it. You know what I'm saying? She been a total beast at it. Yo, guys, stay tuned to find out who's coming on in the next episode of Lockout Men Podcast. What's going on, y'all? Lockout men in the building. Yes, I am here in Denny's, up here in Texas. Y'all hear that background music? Y'all, y'all know Texas is my home, second home. But check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the first interview that I had with the uh, young lady that was guest appearance on the channel. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. But I got another one. I got another one. Yes, it just don't stop. This young lady, her YouTube channel is called Concrete Jungle. Yes. I don't know why she goes by Concrete Jungle, but I guess I'll ask her when we bring her on. But here's the video that caught my eye. What up, party people? So I just want to say thank you to everybody for uh, subscribing to my page. You feel me? Shout out to the newbies. Shout out to the ones in the game. Shout out to the vets. We always appreciate everything that you do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Trucking With Love had got at me uh, last week and was like, girl, how come every time we um, hear from you, you only doing a video about when your ass for the quit? And I'm like, oh, right, right. But like the answer to that is because I be so like invested in what the fuck I be having going on out here in life. I don't really be having nothing to talk about and I don't want to like waste y'all time. You feel me? Well, like talk about here she shit is that y'all really live and in person. Welcome to the show Concrete Jungle. How you doing today, little lady? What's up? I'm good. Thank you for having me. How are you doing? I am doing all right. I'm doing all right. So I have met this young lady what about three years? It's 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 been about yeah, three years, it's, right? It's been a minute, uh huh. Yeah. So she came on to uh she came on to my channel. She subscribed to my channel, and we both got something in common. Yes, we're both. Yes. What are we? Drivers. Real truckers. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, we we also got something else in common. We're both from Oh, the JR Shugle joint. No, not JR Shugle. Before that. One more trucking company. Oh my god, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, she said she said the, she said the devil US Express. God damn it. <laughs> So Concrete Jungle, man, uh, I know it's been a minute that I have uh, talked to you and a lot of things been going on in your life. Why don't you tell everybody who you are and uh, where you come from? All right. Well, what's up, you guys? YouTube family. My name is Z. I come from the great state of North Carolina. Um, I've been out here for, God, like I've been riding since 2017. You feel me? And, um, you know, I've just been really trying to do what all truckers do you know my goal is to get that bag get my own truck you know you know be an owner op and do what i gotta do out here all right all right so since 2017 how how did you uh did you go to a company did you go to u.s express to uh get your license or you went to a school to get your license um no i actually went i I did go through u.s express to get my cdls um and then you know with that comes the contract of having to work for them but um, they didn't pay for my school. I paid for my school, so I didn't owe them anything on the back end. Oh, okay, okay. But you, but you did go through U.S. Express. So instead of yeah. instead of having them to pay for it and sign a and sign a contract and be you know subject to their terms and obligation, you just went on ahead and came out of the pocket. Right. Yeah. I guess they didn't like that too much, huh? No, I'm sure they wasn't feeling it because it wasn't really, you know, like even in school, it really wasn't too much you you could really tell me because I'm spending my own bag. So, you know what I'm saying? How how I much was it? Nothing. 
How much was it? It came. Uh, I believe all together it was like sixty seven hundred. Sixty seven. Did they? Um. Did they? Did they reimburse you for that since you paid for it yourself? No. Did they offer? No, there was no, there did, was no reimbursement with anything. Um. Now what I did do was um. Well, you know what? No, they didn't. They don't reimburse you for anything. But you know, at the end of the day, just when it was time, when I was ready to jump ship, I was just able to go. You know what I'm saying? It was. It was nothing they could do. Was, they couldn't hold me on no paperwork or anything. Oh, okay. I'm okay. just out of here. Yeah. So they wasn't. Um. So how long? How long you spent with them? What was your What was your experience with uh, U.S. Express? I was with U.S. Express uh, all together for it was um nine months. Nine months. So within that nine, yeah, within that nine months, how 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 was the experience? You went out with a trainer, right? Before. Yeah, I did. Okay. I went out with a trainer. Um, that was crazy. I had a trainer. My, like my trainer, you know, what I'm saying he was like a he was a solid ass driver. You feel me? He mm -hmm. was ill in that truck, but like personality wise, he we me and him we we just wasn't it. You feel me? <laughs> um. <laughs> how, how many and trainers? It, how many trainers you went through? Or it was it I just had the two. One? Oh, okay. No, I, I did. I had two. Um, my first trainer, like I said, we just wasn't hitting it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was good at what he did, but he wasn't good at really explaining to me what he was doing. You feel me? Right. And, like, I like I need for you to be able to break down kind of, like, how you're operating the vehicle, the moves you're making, so I can know what to do when I'm in the seat, you know? So right. it just wasn't working out. I got my second trainer, and, I mean, he was a true blue old school trucker and when i tell you that that man got me together he got me all the way together oh, okay real. that sound that sounds like uh <laughs> sound like the situation i went through the first trainer was the first trainer was garbage and then the second trainer was was the one that the one that take you home that's that's that I guess part, that, I, yeah. that's how I, I guess that's how it is at U.S. Express, man. It's so funny, right? <laughs> it is. That's, I know it's crazy over there, and the, most of the people I talk to, it seemed like we all had the same damn experience, which is really crazy. It's funny, like, right? What's going on with that? You feel me? Like, yeah, what is that? What so is that? so nine months, uh, nine months. You decided to uh, you decided to opt out. What was what was the next uh, company that yeah. you went with? Um, I went to DM Bowman. Um, because I'm, I live in Charlotte and so mm -hmm. they have a terminal out of Charlotte. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, once I got some experience, I wanted to do like, um, you know, not, not necessarily local runs, but it was just like a, basically like a pre-planned route. It was the same route every week. Um, which would have been great, but except for I got over there and they were they had started a teaming program, and so I I opted to do it. I said okay, I'll do it. You know they're paying really good money, and it was like okay, but honestly I was burnt out within like the first thirty days. I was so burnt out, and the guy that I was teaming with was really really cool. You feel me? But. Mm -hmm. Then I started being like, maybe I shouldn't be in the truck with, you feel me, somebody else's husband. Like, I'm good on that. I was about to ask you, <laughs> what, what, what's the, what, what was, what was it like teaming with a, with a guy? What, I mean, you're a female and you decided to team with a guy instead of a female. What, what was the experience with that? I mean, for me, like in the beginning, it was really dope. Um, he was like super, he was cool. He was, you know, he was an old head. He was extremely professional. And I was, I was like feeling it, you feel me? But then it seemed like as we started, like we got real cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, like friends, you know? And then mm -hmm. it just, some, I felt like sometimes he would do things that kind of would make me feel like he was trying to cross that line. And I didn't really know how to address that without making the situation extremely awkward, you feel me? Right. So, and I didn't want to put him on blast to the company, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, for what? So I just, you know, I had other options, so I just chose to leave. Oh, okay, okay. How long How long, yeah. what, How long? long was you with uh, DM Bowman? I was there for two months. Two months? Whoa, that was a short, that, no, that was a short yeah, time. Yeah, it was, it was a, a short stand. <laughs> that was a short time. Short. <laughs> All right. So uh being a female being a female trucker out here, um how how how's the moves for you? I mean, you you still enjoying it? You you um what made you get into it? What what made you get into trucking in the beginning in the first place? Um, I don't know. Like I came from a HR background and I just got tired of being in the office. I got tired of, you know, having to sit at my desk from eight to five. Like it just got really really boring and i was like what can i do you know how can i jump off this porch and do something that i love that i feel free um and i can still make a bag and the answer for me was trucking 
Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So later down the line, you, you came across one of my videos, and you was like, uh, this dude right here, U.S. Express, let me see what's up. You reached out right. to you reached out to me and uh we got together, we chopped it up, uh on and off uh on and off YouTube. Uh later down the line I uh I uh shot out uh Katie, you know, told her to talk to you about coming over to uh J.R. Schwugel and um what was your experience with that? <laughs> My experience there was a complete nightmare oh my god it was a nightmare so you feel me like i could like i could just i could tell them what what's up but i don't know if you want me to just leave it or you feel me no 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 tell 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 my <laughs> tell my listeners tell my viewers what i mean because like i said i always tell the people i always tell them when i when i refer somebody you know what i'm saying when i refer you that's it's all well and fine your experience is going to be yours. My, right. my experience is mine. So definitely tell them what was your experience about coming into or at least trying to come into uh, J&R Schwugel at the time. All right. So when I came there, um, your recruiter, she was super dope. You feel me? HR, everybody was super nice. It was it was a green light. It was a go. So I get there and um, the first day of orientation the guy who was in charge of the orientation, he was actually um, the alternate because the main person was out. Right. But um, he just seemed to not be feeling me from the gate. Mm -hmm. And I felt it the whole time we were in class, but I kind of just kept, you know, I kept shaking it off. But he would make these comments about like, you know, I'm not here to train rookies and I'm not doing this and I'm not doing that. And I'm thinking, okay, well, I'm the person in the class with the least amount of experience. So right. if he's expecting for me to get in his truck and drive, like I've been out here 20 years, it's not going to happen. Okay. And I was very right. I was honest with him about it. I was honest with my classmates about it. Um, so we go to take the road test and we are all in a truck together. Mm -hmm. And the two the two guys they take the road test they blow it out the water it's good shit. This so is I'm the last person. This is day one, right? This is this is day two. We day go two. to take the road test. Okay, yeah. okay. So this day is two. day two. Now mind yeah, day two. you. Now mind you, let me let everybody know this is the orientation up in Minnesota, not Columbus. Yes. Now see yeah, what this I. Is in what I what I thought you was gonna go to Columbus. I don't understand why they sent you all the way up to Minnesota because you you're out of North Carolina, right? Or South right, yeah. You, so you're you're close to Ohio. So I was assuming right. that they was gonna send you to Ohio with my with with my one guy. Now if you was with him, I'm sure the experience would have been would have been better. A little go, bit different. Go ahead and continue. Oh, so we go to take the road test, and I'm the last to go. And I noticed that he wants me to do a completely different road test than the other students, which mm -hmm. was like a red flag. You know, I kind of looked at the guys in the back. They kind of shrugged like, you know, what the hell is going on? So I said, okay, too easy. Take the road test. You know, no no problems, you know what I'm saying, driving, mm -hmm. operating a vehicle. But I see the guy out of my – I see the – the safety man sitting to my right and he's looking a bit agitated. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I mm -hmm. kind of asked him what's going on. Me and him, we started exchanging words. I told him that I felt that he was rude and he was very unprofessional. Mm -hmm. And from there, that pretty much sealed my fate, you know, feel me on the road test. Like, I mean, I didn't do anything unsafe. I, you know, I changed my lanes, right? You know, everything was a one. We got to, um, he actually took me to a live dock. Everybody else went to like a little abandoned building. You me, but, right. He um, took you to that. He my, took you to that dock that's up the street from the from the terminal. Right. Yeah. So we got there. So you know, I waited. You know, what I'm saying until the traffic calmed down before I went ahead and back to the dock. And you know, I did about 85 get out and looks because I was extremely nervous because mm -hmm. I knew that after me and him got into it, it was probably going to be a no. Well, of course, we got back to the class and they told me that I had failed the road test. And when I asked them which part, because I backed the truck, there was no safety issues. Nobody could seem to tell me exactly why I failed. Right. So, um, you know, I talked to him. I spoke to his counterparts. I spoke to the person that was over him. And they offered to try to get me um, another road test. But 
at that point, I was just mentally burnt out. I felt yeah, defeated. You just said, I was pissed you, you just said, off, and I was ready to go. Yeah, you just said it wasn't. It wasn't even worth. Yeah, it. Yeah, I, I worth felt it. extremely targeted. I said they treating people like this. I don't even want to be here anyway. I'm cool. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Like I said, if if you was to if you was to get with my guy Jonathan down in uh, Columbus, I'm sure the experience would have been a hell of a lot different. Now the guy, the guy up in Minnesota, I'm, I wasn't, I'm, I'm not too privy of of the uh, the instructors up in Minnesota. I think I met one guy, but I, I'm, I'm not sure the guy that she was with. And she called me back. She called me back, and we had a long, a long er conversation about what what happened up there, <laughs> but. Yeah, that that experience up there, man, was wasn't that good for you. And I apologize to you. I, I really That's okay. Did. It's not like I told you. It's not on you. I think what people like. Let me tell you, especially to the females coming in this industry. Now, listen, all of y'all are not gonna have this experience. So I know some girls that's gonna say, "What? That didn't happen to me." But for like some of you ladies, I'm telling you, you're gonna go to companies, you're gonna go to shippers, you're gonna go to receivers, and sometimes the people are gonna treat you like you are not supposed to be in this industry. There are just people who look at you and say, you are not supposed to be in this industry. And they cannot tell you that, but what they will do is switch their demeanor up and you're going to feel it. You feel me? And that was like one of those times that I felt like, okay, I see what's really going on. All right. So what's, uh, what's, uh, what's your Instagram? You got it. You got an Instagram out here. What is it? Yes. Yes. You guys could um, hit me up on IG at lavender petals with a Z number eight. All right. I'm about to bring that up here right quick. <laughs> bring that up here we got a we got a we got a video right here of you right quick in your little car jam yeah you got uh your little son right quick yeah is that the uh is that the only son that you have just just one yes yes okay all right nice looking dude with a a beautiful looking mama that's my guy thank you okay yeah yeah Oh, okay. Yeah, got the got the got the joints with the tattoos working. Look at that. <laughs> that I, part. My girl got. Oh, he the know. Tat- you know, mommy gonna have fun too. My girl you got. My girl got the tattoos working. What's uh? How many tattoos you got? How many tattoos you have? Oh wow! I do not. I lost count a long time ago. <laughs> I have no idea. Like I just, I'm telling you, I go to cities and then I just look at what artists they got out there, look at their work, and if it's fly, I will just swing through. Okay. And show some love. So yeah. some of so some of the tattoos do they do they have any meaning? I I like this little spade with the little keyhole in the middle. I like that. Oh, thank you. So. Yeah, you know somebody do got the key to my heart. You feel me? <laughs> Who, <laughs> it, it's your son, right? Nah. <laughs> Of course, of course. You, you already knew. See, you was on top of it. You know what I mean? You was on top of it. <laughs> so, with this, uh, with this trucking game for for you, for for you, this uh, this trucking game, man, just it's just just something just to get out here, just to be different than what would you used to. Yeah, like I just got. I'm telling you, listen. I was tired of because, like in HR, I do numbers. I'm. Like, I do strength management. And so anybody who know that game, you feel me? You do numbers all day, numbers and formulas. Mm-hmm. Pies, graphs, that's that's your baby. And I just got so tired of crunching numbers. Like, I thought to myself, if I never have to see another fucking computer screen, I'm good. <laughs> like, straight up. I, was, I could not take it anymore. I was like, no. So, uh, yeah, I stepped away. All right. So uh, let's, let's jump back to your channel, man. What... What happened to your channel? I, when I first when I first met you, let me go ahead to your channel. When I first met you, you had like a gang of videos, like your experience from DM, your experience from uh, US Express, your experience. Period. Uh, you just bam! I, I came back onto your channel, and I only see like it's empty. It's 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 empty and this yeah. one right here the uh Hirschbach finale let's let's see what that one's about hey guys it's your girl z thank you um to all my subscribers i really appreciate you and all that you do um shout out to everybody that just came in and- 
leave now I actually have to go to a specific location and then sometimes I go there and I don't have any transportation now I know you're thinking well I could rent a car but what the fuck like listen I hustle and bustle to buy you feel me my dream car and when I am on my home time I want to drive what I've paid my money for you know what I'm saying I don't want to go rent a car and be in something that like no you feel me um so when they got rid of their terminal in Atlanta that kind of put me in a way and also um since that's happened I have not been able to get this is a true story I have not been able to get home on so let's any let's home talk about that time. let's talk about like that, that Hirschbach uh was was Hirschbach after uh JNR Swoogle or was it was there another yeah. company in between no, it was after that. Um, cause I haven't um talking. I was speaking to you, but it was another dude I was following on YouTube. Um, shout out to Trucker Dean. Trucker, so, hold on. Um, what's his What's his name? Trucker Dean. Hold on, right quick. Let's uh let's bring my man up. Uh, right quick. Trucker, Trucker Dean, D E N. Yeah. D E A N Z. A N Z. Trucker, Trucker Dean. Wait. D E a N Z, uh huh, and trucker, right? T R U C K E R. Truck, yeah, yeah, trucker Dean. Uh huh. I'm not, I'm not finding, no. I'm not finding my guy. Let's... Let me see. Yeah, he. I got trucker Josh. I got trucker. Oh, trucker Dean. No, not with a Z. My bad. Oh, D <laughs> okay, not with a Z. Yeah, Dean's is his driver name. Okay, okay. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> trucker Dean. Okay, okay. Let's see. Uh, oh, so he's a Hirschback driver. Okay, hold on. Let's, yeah. Let's see what he's talking about. What's good, YouTube man? Y'all already know, man. First of all, I'm in the Mammoth. Uh, in the Mammoth terminal, they kind of redid it a little bit. Last time, they probably been did it, but I, this is the last time I was here, I had a frozen uh, filter. But this time, they got like a lounge and stuff, which I'll make a person separate video for that. But I ran to my guy Paris, man, and uh, he been here a year. Let y'all see, you know, what uh, what Hirschback can do for okay, you guys, so man. And just uh, so from experience, his experience and stuff, man. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. So how how long how long y'all been chopping it up before you decided to uh, go with Hirschback? Um, I have been talking to, let me see, we probably chopped it up for like about a month. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, about a good month or two. No, it, might, it probably was longer, like for real. It probably might have been about two months, you feel me? Okay. And then um, when I went through the spiel with J.R. Shugel, he was like, you know, just, I'm telling you, I've been telling you, just come to Hirschbach, see what it's about. So, I, you know, I talked to a recruiter and I went and then, hey, here we are. I'm still here. A year and some change later. All right, so what's your so what's your experience with uh with Hirschbach? Now I I made the call to Hirschbach. Uh, oh. I'm trying to trying to find a video. I think uh I think I made the call to Hirschbach. Uh, was it early this year? Uh, I'm trying to think. I, I think it was in the second. Actually, it was in the no. It it was in the second season. I I uh I talked to. Her to a recruiter over at Hirschbach and I, I don't know I I kind of like gave that call like maybe a five considering the fact that she was she was really pushing the the um the um the 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 lease part of it and I I right. wasn't I was I mean you know I wasn't feeling it you know even though I was just calling for you know for my subscribers but yeah she she was pushing the lease so <laughs> was that was that pushed on you as well when when you got there? No, nah, I mean when I went I already knew that that's what I was coming there to do. Um, but you, okay, so the the deal with Hirschbach is. Like, at one point in time, they were not – I'm not saying they're a mega carrier. They're still not that yet, but I think that that is the goal. Um, at one point in time, they were a smaller company, you feel me? And a mm -hmm. lot of their drivers were, like – like, they, they were moving differently, you feel me? And they had, like, a wave out there for how they was moving and for their reputation and the way they treated their drivers. Right. Um, my experience there is, like – the mega company goal and I'm seeing it on a daily basis when I'm dealing with the dispatch when I'm dealing with safety. I mean, it's to me, it's just, I'm not, I'm not feeling it. No well, more. you mentioned, you mentioned in your video that, you know, some, you mentioned in your video about the Atlanta, you wasn't able to get home when you wanted to get home. Can you elaborate on that? 
Yeah, like um, as far as your home time, you feel me? You have to put your home time in. Well, they they actually put your home time in ten days in advance so that they could work. You know, the loads to get you as close to the area as possible. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And um, for me, the past three months, I have, will put you know my home time in, and I'll give them to me an adequate amount of time, and they still can't get it right. Okay, okay. I just think that's you know that's like super disrespectful. I get it. Sometimes it can happen, but at this point, it kind of just feels like they really don't care when you're trying to get home the day they just want to get you home around that time you know now you now let's jump back about your youtube man what's what's what's, what's, right. what's going on with your youtube <laughs> what, because in your one in your one video you was you was mentioning about that you got you know you got other power moves so you know what what other what other power moves that you got and what what's what's going on with the youtube can we inspect the youtube to come back Slack yeah, off yeah. or what's 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 going nah. on? Nah, the YouTube is lit. Like, um, I'm about to well, you know, I removed my videos because like after I started really getting like into trucking, mm -hmm. you feel me? I just was looking at the videos and I was like, you know, I don't know, I just took them down. I was like, you know, I'm have it's a different experience for me now. I know more, you feel me? I'm a little bit more wiser about the game. So instead of me doing updates to everything, I just pushed everything out of the system and now I'm like rebuilding it back up. Oh, okay, that's what's um, up. Yeah, and as far as, like, what I got going on, I mean, you know, if you come in this game and you do what you got to do, you feel me, you're going to accumulate a bag, period. You feel me? So, for me, originally I wanted to get, you know, my own truck, and then from there it kind of went to just some business ventures with some, you know, some friends. So, um, I'm getting ready to open up a salon. And, okay, um, okay. And another girl, <laughs> me and one of my partners, we're getting ready to um, start a life coaching business. Okay. So, no, just different things I want to invest my money in. Okay, so you said salon. So you so you sweep with them hands or with the nails? Which which one? I'm not, look, I'm t a, a hair. What? <laughs> a hair. We'll get, you, we'll get you together. We'll get your hair together now. For the ladies, don't be trying to like get at me and judge me because I know you know what I'm saying. I'm in this truck. It's only so much I can do. You feel me? But let me sit you in my chair. I will send you home looking like. The best you ever you feel me like what <laughs> you will be you will be very satisfied you i'm gonna get a tip satisfied. i promise you that hold, yeah, hold on for, hold on for a second look <laughs> it's been a it's been a little minute it's been it's been a pleasure talking to you and to find out what's going on with you and everything uh what you what you what you got set for this week man i mean what you, what you got set for this week what's what's for what's for dinner what what we eating? Oh my God! Like I just left my mom's house. We just ate like, I guess it was pre Thanksgiving. For you know how like your parents, you feel me? They like it's it's almost like they cook throughout the whole week. You feel me? And then Thursday you really set it off. So, you feel me? We didn't already started today, mm -hmm. and um Thanksgiving is gonna be all the way lit. And tomorrow is my birthday, so I'm okay, looking forward well, to that. Okay, happy birthday! Happy here. birthday! Thank you. Yeah, you feel me? So you want to you want to let us you want to let. You want to let us know how old you are, or you want to, or you want to be ladylike. Yeah, I'm just gonna. We're just gonna leave it in the fabulous 40s, and we just we're gonna leave the last number off. You feel me? But shout out to all my ladies in their fabulous 40s. Hey, now let me. Hey, now let me tell you guys something right quick. When I first met this young lady, and she told me how old she was, I still don't believe it. I mean, look, <laughs> man, just just go to her Instagram. Thank you. Just go to just go to her Instagram and and just check this young lady out. She and if she tells you how old she is, y'all going to be like, "Really? That's how I was." <laughs> I, that's how I was. When she told me I, I had to I was like, "Look, man, send me your send, send me your uh your birth certificate." She sent, <laughs> she sent me a copy of that and I was like, "Oh my god. Can't believe it." <laughs> So yeah, now there is now listen, listen, truck drivers, all right. Now look, I'm not being biased or nothing like that, but this my girl right here. She's hot. <laughs> I'm just oh saying. wow, wow! You she's, feel me? Thank she's, you. <laughs> she's hot. So if y'all ever turn around and say that there's no hot women in trucking, yo, holler at holler at my girl Concrete Jungle. Speaking of which, what do what do Concrete Jungle mean, and where did it come from? 
Okay, so you feel me? Like the concrete represents, you know, just trucking, being out here on the highway, back roads, just being on the open road and jungle because I really feel like anybody in trucking know that you got to be a beast to be out here. You feel me? You in the jungle. There you go. There you go. My Actually, girl, my girl Z, <laughs> Concrete Jungle. Thank Make you for sure. having me. I really appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right. Guys. This is super dope. Guys, you know check it out. Go to go her YouTube page is Concrete Jungle on YouTube. And her uh Instagram is Lav Lavender Petals 8. Now if you put in yes. laver if you put in Lavender Petals without the eight. Y'all can still see her other Instagram. Oh, but, yeah, that's my other joint. But her her active one is the number eight, and you guys could chop it up with her. Make sure you guys go subscribe to her. Uh, show her some type of love. She got she got game now. She's about four years deep in it now, so she, she got game. She's still at Hirschbox, so if you guys, you know, if you guys watching the video, you know, make sure y'all say hi to her. And shout out to uh, what, what's the guy's name again? Dean Trucker Dean. Yeah, yeah. Shout, you know, shout out uh, the Trucker Dean for helping her out, man. So, yo, if you guys like, uh, God damn it, <laughs> yo. So if you guys like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Lockout men. Again, Z, thank you very much for being here with us and uh thank don't you. be don't be no stranger. Don't be no stranger. I won't.